Good day, Grade 11s. Your favorite business status tutor is here again. So today we are going to be looking at the practice and application questions for transformation of a business plan into an action plan. Without wasting time, let us just get straight into it. The first practice question says, elaborate on the meaning of an action plan. An action plan is a detailed plan that outlines the actions that need to be executed in order to reach the business goals. So basically, when we are talking about an action plan, we are referring to that detailed plan of all the actions that has to be uh, taken in order for a business to reach its goals. So that is our action plan. An action plan shows the activities that must be completed and how the activities will be organized to achieve the goals of the business plan. So through an action plan, we are able to see the activities that has to be completed and how will they be organized in order to achieve the goals that we want to achieve that we have written in a business plan. Because remember, we are changing a business plan into an action plan. So obviously, our action plan is informed by our business plan. The second question says, discuss the importance of an action plan. Why is an, uh, is an action plan important? An action plan enables projects to be achieved within a specified time. So through an action plan, we are able to be assisted to know that during this particular time, this certain activity has to be completed. So it's very important to have an action plan so that you would know the duration of the completion of a task, of a project rather. Businesses are able to prioritize activities by their importance. So an action plan is important because businesses are able to make sure that they start with the important activities first because they would have been prioritized those activities on an action plan so that when they execute those activities, they know very well that these are the first ones that we have to start with in order to uh, achieve the goal of the business at the end. Helps employees to focus on their activities. So an action plan is very important because it assists employees to focus on the activities that they have been allocated to perform because they would be knowing very well that during this time we should be completed uh, or should be done with a specific uh, project or activity that uh, has been uh, explained in an action plan so they are able to focus on the activities that they have to do because they know very well that these activities has to be executed. Then we have a scenario that we need to read and then we'll answer the questions that follow. Makeba Construction MC. Makeba Constructions won a tender to build a library at White City. MC was advised to draw up an action plan that will result in a successful business. They defined the short-term and long-term objectives of their plan. MC also prioritized activities that needed to be done first. So let us move on. Let us see what the question says. Question number three, it says, code two action planning steps applied by MC from the scenario. Before we go to the scenario and code, I need to remind you this. When we code, you need to make sure that you code the sentence from the beginning up until the end. That's how we code in business studies. Let us go to the scenario and uh, code those two action planning steps. We'll reread the scenario again. Makeba Constructions won a tender to build a library at White City. So this is just a statement. They are informing us what Makeba Construction did, of which is winning a tender. MC was advised to draw up an action plan that will result in a successful business. Also, this is information. We are looking for action planning steps that were applied by MC Construction. 
they defined the short-term and long-term objectives of their plan. So this sentence, it's an action planning step that what is it that Makeba Construction did? They defined what short-term goals are for their project or for their business and thereafter they then what? They also prioritized activities that needed to be done first. So this will be our number two and this will be our number one. So that's how you have to code. So the first code, as it appears, they defined the short-term and long-term objectives of their plan. They defined what is it that they want to achieve in the short term and what is it that they want to also achieve in the long term. They defined their objectives that this is what we are aiming to achieve in the short term, this is what we are also aiming to achieve in the long term. Now, another quotation, as you saw when we underlined there, it's MC also prioritized activities that needed to be done first. Remember when we explained, we said that you need to make sure that on project planning steps, you start with the important activities and then you schedule them first and then followed up by the least uh, important activities. Moving on to question four, it says recommend to MC other steps of an action plan. So if the question says other, meaning the ones that we have mentioned previously, those two that we have quoted on the scenario, we must not re-mention them, but we must focus on other planning steps that we did not um, talk about. An action plan can help the person responsible to be more organized. So an action plan can actually assist the person responsible for a project to be more organized because they would be knowing uh, what is the first activity that has to be done followed by which activity. So in that manner they become organized because they know how their activities uh, follow each other. It can also help employees or it can also help employees to focus on their activities. So an action plan is going to assist employees as well to focus on their activities because through an action plan they would see there are different roles that they have to perform and then there won't be any conflict in terms of uh, maybe many employees doing one role or performing one activity. So through an action plan they will be able to focus on their activities that they have to execute. Review progress regular. So Another step of an action plan is to review the progress regular. Are we moving forward? Are we achieving the goals that we wanted to achieve? Or if not, are there any deviations? If there are any deviations, then what measures are we taking in order to make sure that we mitigate or we completely get rid of the deviations that we are facing? So let us just go for a quick break and we will be back shortly. Thank you.